There are a lot of things that go on in the world. There is a positive force and a negative force. It's like taking a journey through the ocean. There are going to be storms. That's just because the earth is alive. It needs to breathe, it needs to move. And as it's moving and breathing, it's going to have undulations. You learn to read how it's moving. The more experiences you have, the greater chance you have that you actually make it through the storm. Faith is about reflection. Reflecting upon our actions, reflecting upon our requests. What is it we really want? Do we really need it? And does it benefit everyone else instead of just me? For five years, the Portland Church was without a successor. And so one of the interim ministers asked my parents, who were in Japan, to come and succeed the church. I really didn't understand it. I believe I appreciated it. It was very much a part of our life, and I didn't realize how much we lived the faith until end of high school, going into college, and really starting to explore my own spirituality. But just watching my parents, how they help people, really made me want to explore it further. The practice of Shinto is to leave this world in a better, harmonious state for future generations. There is no founder, there are no teachings, there is no doctrine for Shinto. Kami in Shinto is the life force that holds and binds everything together. It's within us, it flows within the universe, and it's the spirit of this energy that guides all living things. We can't see it, you can't hear it, but it's something that you feel within yourself. It's a comforting warmth. In ritual, every step that we take, every movement that we have is very much formalized and it's made to help us get our mindset into more of a peaceful, harmonious state. When you're in a ritual, you are more fully connected to the universe. It's like you're one with the universe. In Western society, they always talk about a family tree and how family is important, but we kind of forget that we have roots and Without the roots, the tree would fall over, it would die. To nourish your roots, to take care of the ground, to take care of your ancestors who have built the society for us is really important. I feel that way when I'm helping people, when I'm doing things for the church. And one of the things I think that really led me to becoming a minister is that, you know, growing up, I see all these people having different problems. And I feel like I've had some problems, but nothing devastating. And I really feel I owe that to the faith of my parents and the prayers that have protected me from it. And I really wish to pass that on to my own children as well as to everyone who's seeking, you know, faith and spirituality and to help them from their own problems because I'm happy <laughs> and want everyone else to be happy too.